This episode of What a Horse. This past weekend, we went to Sugar Creek Breeding Facilities for the outlay of a lot of good horses. They did have a coat preview. However, this week, we're not going to show the coats. We're going to wait and show them next week when we do a little bit more in-depth shooting of coats that are getting ready. What we are going to do is we're going to introduce you to the breeding studs at Sugar Creek. So as soon as we get back from this short pause for our sponsors. We'll start on this week's show. We'll be right back. Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book, too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Seabring and see what being number one is all about. Six-time world champion in amateur and open competition, four-time amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dow at Fantasy Farm in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. Come one, come all, that's the motto at the new Feed for All store on Highway 64 East. Feed for All is family owned and operated by Christy and Eddie Guthrie along with their son Joe. This family will be available to serve your daily needs for all your agriculture animal feeds. Their goal is to provide feed in bulk or by the bag wherever it is needed and will always be a phone call away. Christy and Eddie have always been very selective in the quality of the feed their animals were fed and their satisfaction with the Feed for All products is their guarantee. You will be satisfied as well. Watch your horses come running when you break out the Feed for All horse feed. Give Feed for All a call today at 931-492-4609 or stop by their store located at 2392 Highway 64 East in Shelbyville, Tennessee and pick up a load of feed today. Joe is ready to load it for you. Uh, feed for All, so good. Let's return back to Jerry Harris and his guests on What a Horse. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I have a couple of announcements to make. The Alabama Jubilee, which normally they have a barn party around the 12th of this month, it was canceled. They are going to move it to the same day that Lane Leverett is having his barn parties on, on the Saturday, the 19th. They will have their auction, and a lot of people you got to come to this auction. They auction off everything from, from uh, pies, cakes, saddles, you name it, they'll have it there. They raise funds for Camp Smile a Mile, which is a very important charity that's supported by the walking horse industry in Alabama. Another is that, that same day, Lane Leverett will have his coat preview, which is always good. Good food good camaraderie, everybody will come out and have a real good time. Now on a sadder note, I, I, we, uh, we lost another legend in the walking horse industry this past weekend, Mr. Sonny Srivner. 
long time walking horse enthusiast. If you knew him, well, if, if you knew Sonny, then you knew someone that was very, very special. Sonny was a friend to everybody. Uh, he was one of them that no matter how big a hurry you were in, you'd always stop to chat with Tom, with Sonny just a little. Uh, he's just uh, a legend. Wealth of knowledge in this man. And he will be missed by this industry, believe me. That's his wife, Linda uh, Srivner, who works for the report. You could always depend on them being at every function that supported the walking horse industry. And Sonny, you will be remembered, my friend. Sad day in the industry. Now, this time of year, everybody's looking for a horse that they can go trail riding, uh, field trials, uh, or endurance, or they're wanting one that they can really get up and go, that's got a lot of stamina and it will stay out there, and we have just the one for you. This is a video of Sci-Fi. He is a three-year-old gilding by Armed and Dangerous, and he's out of a, no, he's by arms deal for real out of an armed and dangerous mare. But we've had this horse through everything. As Jerry Williams says, he can take him out on a cart, take him all over the country, bring him back, and he's ready to go again. Good way to spend the day is on a horse out in the country, and if you're looking for one that you can go for a trail ride or just go galloping across the field, right here is one that can take you there, and it will go all day long. All you got to do is get up on him and let him ride. As I said, we went down to uh, Sugar Creek Saturday, and it was, it was a super good time down there. A lot of camaraderie, a lot of people, but they, they did have some coats, and um, I think they maybe showed 15 or 20 coats, but the main attraction that day was all the different studs that they brought in. And we decided to take these studs and to put a little excitement with it, we'd go back and see how much video that we could bring up on each one of the studs now standing at Sugar Creek. So David was there. Uh, Bowie, place was packed full. Of course, we had Rowdy Ranch serving food and everything. But it was just a fun day for everybody. A lot of people around. A lot of people getting stuff done. So I tell you what, let's do. Let's go watch some of the video from Sugar Creek. We are at Sugar Creek in Shelbyville, Tennessee, getting ready for the first look, coat preview. We got Mr. Bob Roach gonna be up in the tower. We're gonna be shooting from the side where we'll be live streaming on the What A Horse TV video group page and interviewing some people during the day and we're going to see some beautiful coats. So stay with us. We'll be ready to go in just a minute. All right, Tommy, we're getting ready for a coat preview, Absolutely. Right? I got my Sugar Creek hat on, still got my sticker on it. I want everybody to know it's brand new cap. It's actually, you know, it's cold outside, but it's actually getting warmer in this building. They got the heaters flowing, they got folks here. I mean, uh, well, we got a lot of horse trainers coming in, so there's a lot of ha hot air coming into the building. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're gonna be selling coats out here today, gonna oh, be yeah. talking it up. You can It's bet. a little chilly. I, it's gonna be a good, pretty good turnout. They're gonna have quality of coats should be really good. They're gonna, the new studs are coming in. Yeah, they're right, going to get right. to see Bravo in action. Yeah. They're going to actually lead uh, Jen to win. Jen to win. He's going to be in A lot of the studs from the lower barn will be coming through, and so it would be good to have all them folks get out and kind of see them and everything. Plus, that mare sale's going on. Oh, yeah. So the mare sale's going on. They can go by the stall, and, and there's even a little thing where you scan your phone, and it'll pull up all the information off the Internet. Hey. That's good. It's amazing. Good now, to be yeah, here. You're, you're going to be announcing today. Yes. We're going out on Water Horse Video TV group, exactly. Facebook page, your page. We, we've got it going and all Sugar over the horse. All of them. Sugar Creek. 
Yeah, all of us have got it going at once. Let's get going. Let's go. All right. You know, Tommy, when you lead a when you lead a horse up through there and let him watch you walk, you know, and you see what he looks like without the saddle there, if it has one thing. Yeah. But this oh, that's here. Hurt. Look at here. Hey, that's Bravo, so buddy. So what, what are we pushing? This is Bravo. Love him. Now we've got his, uh, he, there he is with his set of roses for that show. But it, I just, rather than look at a horse yeah. and see him leading him around, I just thought it'd be cool if we slapped a little video he on there and let him see him. Bridal. So look how, you know, there's a, God gives them that back end and their headset. Okay. You can't, they've got thousands of tools to get there and they can't get there. Watch here, here watch him right here. Oh no, yeah. Now that's, that's the uh, 2017, he won the world championship specialty. Chad doesn't even have the slack out of the reins. I've got this video, I've had this video on my phone forever. Now watch, he doesn't even have the slack out of the reins. He's not in his mouth whatsoever. And that's just unheard. Oh, look at him. He's by Titleist out of a hard Texas cashmere. He is absolutely unreal. I love him. All right, there's David with him right here. Look, look how David's in love with him. He's a beautiful horse now. Look at here. That's David. That's Armando. Uh, what you got to realize is on the right side of this fence, uh, they serve 335 plates of food. There's probably 500 fish. I know. That's the story. They were eating. They were eating, having a good time. Being married. Yeah. What a horse is there. We did the video. And we had over a thousand people that watched. Oh, on they the were. Internet. Yeah, I mean, it was unreal. There's David. Now he doesn't have as much gray hair as I do, but he's aging quickly. Well, since he purchased, uh, <laughs> he, he, he will be aging a whole lot quicker. That's Armando. He, he, all the whole, the guys know Armando. So, well, he's That's, always there. Oh yeah, he's tremendous. The fence came from the Rippies from over at uh, Pleasant Valley. Okay, now watch this. Watch this, Jerry. Because Blaze is going to have him in here in just a minute. This is the amateur part yep, now. This is the amateur here. All right, he had already won. He was already a three-year-old champ of the world. He won the three-year-old world championship, three-year-old world grand yeah. championship. This is his four-year-old amateur World Grand Championship. He comes back, Tommy, and wins a World Championship in both open and amateur show pleasure division. Let me let me say this. My brother has a gentleman. Black Jen just died. So what we're dealing with here is the 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 demand on Jen's Black Jen was so huge and then maverick you know is not breathing so what we got we had a uh, there there's a void there this horse right here in gentle will breed more mares next year than probably any kids who want probably uh jose's five thousand they ain't gonna pay i mean not everybody in their brother's gonna pay five thousand to breed jose well, I'm gonna tell you. Look here, now this is Blaze McCart. This is Blaze. Now, all right, he was three. Tremendous person, I, you know. This horse right here, when they when Harold first purchased him, he went to Ed Abernathy yeah. where Blaze was working. That's where he was. And uh, he, he, he's got that. Abernathy in there and that Blaze Picard. Buddy. Harold Roberts. Yeah, well, let me tell you about her. He, he had a vision now. Well, he did. I mean, oh, he, he did. smart as a whip, and then his granddaughter. Look here. The other day, Armando let him in to, to the crowd. 
And then he wasn't really park out. He just kind of, you know. He did when she got over. By God, you remember we were sitting there eating, and they said, "Hey, Blaze, grab him." All right, here, here we go. This is what's happening. Watch. Okay, so watch. Blaze gets around there. He sees her, and he says, "Oh boy." All right, that's Boo walking by. That's Armando. You know that David's got been there with David for. I don't know, 20 something years. Here's David. Can the wind screaming? Can the wind? He was three old champion of the world. Four year amateur champion of the world. Recent world championship pleasure horse. Jen to win. Now watch this. I, I think we may get a shot of this. This is funny. He ain't going to listen to Armando about parking that whatsoever. No, but he's but gonna listen to Blaze. Watch. All right, see, all right, see, David told us, "Hey, hey well, this ain't gonna, gonna work well." He would. He looked like a million dollars. I mean, she's got him perfect oh, looking. Oh gosh, he didn't have a long hair on him. No, you know, a lot of. All right, here she comes. Here we go. Here we go. Watch. She don't listen to nothing Amanda says until she gets there. Oh, we're going to park out, watch. We're going to behave now. Watch him stretch out when she tells him to. Well, let's, let's be honest. If somebody that pretty was petting us on the neck, we'd probably stretch out. I would uh, do backflips. <laughs> I mean, I would do backflips. That was so funny. Here we go here. Now here's one. Uh-oh. Right there he is. I am Jose. I am Jose, three-time champ of the world. And they brought him up the hill. And uh, Jerry, you were there. Oh, yeah. I was so proud. Uh, I mean, there are only two three-time champions of the world. and. There's Talking to Towns Dad, this is him, and he's up there. But I'm telling you, you know, if they shot him up right now, there's nothing that you mean. Oh, he, he'd be hard to beat. No, he, he, he won't. He wouldn't be. I mean, I'm telling you, he, even though the Woods own Revival, he would beat Revival. He'd beat any anybody that wants to challenge him the big state. He can do it. There he is again. Look at In the mud. There's a story behind when they bought him, and I don't know. Sonny McCarter told me the story. Uh, it has something to do with Denny Woods' dog. I think Mr. Woods sent the dog to the vet. Maybe the dog died. And. They had to cheer her up so they bought this horse. <laughs> I, I, that's exactly what I think happened. I mean, well, I so, tell you what, anybody that knows Debbie and Billy Woods, they oh know God. they know how much they love that horse. They're wonderful people. Christy, uh, Sonny's daughter, told me to ask Daddy about the story. So I asked Sonny about the story, and uh, but I think that horse got bought because of the dog didn't make it. But Debbie was there the other day. She's a, they are wonderful people. You're hey, right. You know her. Know her well. Oh my God. Talk to him on the phone. Look at Talk to him in person. He doesn't know he wanted nothing. All he knows is. Yeah, he's a walking piece of wood. Oh my God. To do it tomorrow now. I mean, I mean, he could. Well, he came back twice. That didn't show all year, but he came back and won it again. Yeah. Was that good. I asked her, I asked his daughter one time how her daddy got such good two-year-olds, and she said, I guess he's just a good picker. He's a good picker, yeah. He's a good picker. Yeah. He's got great hands. I mean, he, you know, everybody complains, say he leans over too far, blah, blah, blah. Let me tell you, all the cold guys do lean over far. They just, it's part of them. But he's got a great, this guy's got a great set of hands. 
I tell you what, if you ever go to their barn, yeah. be ready to watch them work horses because they don't take a break. What's it? Is it their dad or something that makes them, they say you can do heart surgery in that barn. I mean, it's so clean. Oh, it, well, it's clean, but, they, but they're constantly working. They're, yeah. they're just like Jimmy McCall. Yeah. You go to Jimmy McCall's barn, he's on a horse, on a horse, on a horse, on a horse. Michael, I think way. they fed yeah. Michael got it. <laughs> yeah. All right, here he is right here, look. Now watch him. He's not going to stand still at all. Armando, the, uh, the reason why they use Armando, Armando's the one who handles them every day. So, you know, they're not going to get out of hand with him. Because when he grabs them, they assume they're going to the breeding part of the barn. But he makes them behave. And uh, he gets out there and he says, whoa, 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 fella, what's going Why on? Why am I here? here? Everybody's drinking coffee. What, what's the point? All right, now he's going to dance around and sling his head. I tell you what, that place was packed with people. Food was great. Uh, it was cold. Raised by our good friend, Mr. Bob Rollins. Bob Rollins raised him. Prods Angelique is the mama. Jose Jose's daddy. But look at him. Fat as a pig. If you shot him up, if you put his shoes on right there, why he ain't gonna stand still. David told me, he said, I'm not so sure we're gonna be able to get pictures of him. But I think Debbie, or Debbie, or here we go. That's Debbie right there. All right, they will get a picture. He'll stand still. Watch him look at it. So I'm already preparing him that he's going to throw a fit, but he doesn't. As soon as she grabbed him, he was totally another. See? These are animals, they're like dogs. I mean, he thinks he's probably gonna get a peppermint or something from her, so he's gonna stand. All right, here's oh, uh, Billy. Billwood, yeah. He is a big pet now. But brother, they turn him out in that, uh, you know, the turnout. Right. Oh my God. He puts on a show. All right. Well, we ain't done. We we got a bunch. We got a slew of them down there. I probably got some of my t-shirt. Mm -hmm. I wonder where you came from. <laughs> I've been riding around with a drummer. He, 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 I, I'm riding around with a, a a gospel music legend. I'm telling mm -hmm. you. So anyway, we brought him with me. So that's for we, another we, show. We, we, yep, we're gonna do something else. Go ahead. Hey, what what we got? We're gonna take a short pause for our sponsors, and we'll be right back with more studs from Sugar Creek. Let's do it. Agenda Wins started his career under the guidance of Herbert Derrickson, winning his first outing as a two-year-old in Manchester, Tennessee. After a great two-year-old season, Jen would win his first outing as a three-year-old. He was then purchased by Harold Roberts. Harold won a competitive amateur class with him, then turned the reins over to trainer Blaze Picard, who would win both the World Championship and World Grand Championship three-year-old classes. This would be followed by Kendra Myers winning the amateur four-year-old Grand Championship, and then Jen would go on to win World Championships in both amateur and open show pleasure divisions. With World and World Grand Championships in both open and amateur divisions, the decision was made to stand this talented black stallion in honor of the man who saw his greatness, Harold Roberts. Agenda Win is now standing at Sugar Creek in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Make an appointment to breed your mare today, 931-680-0897. Tired of paying for monthly telephone service, expensive long-distance bills, and all those crazy taxes? Are you sick of spending money on telephone equipment, maintenance contracts, and service calls, all for a phone system that shackles you to 100-year-old technology and your desk? Stop it. It's time to ship your phone system to the cloud. What can the cloud do for you? Bring together remote offices, workers, and employees in the field. 
Make sure that you'll never miss calls by delivering them to multiple devices. Modernize faxing by allowing multiple faxes to be sent and received at once and delivered to email. Get your voicemail messages instantly through email, too. And take advantage of an endless supply of customizable features. Host My Calls can deliver the cloud. All of this technology with low upfront costs and not one penny in capital expense. It's time for a phone solution you'll truly love from Host My Calls. Call the number below. The Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow. I don't want anybody to forget the winner circle. They have free shipping for any order over $100, and they do support our industry on a regular basis. So please remember the winner circle when you're getting your equine needs. Let's get back to Water Horse and watch some more videos. <laughs> I was late. I apologize. I was late. I'm, I'm sorry. Now, and I'm wearing a T-shirt. So. That's where it goes. It it he's been out rocking and rolling. They've been I have been. I have been. down the road singing gospel music. We have been, and I've been to a horse barn watching two yells. So what we got next? Hey, I, I'm going to tell you what. We'll be going back to Lane Leverage this week because right. I'll get me some more coat previews. And then next week, next we'll, week we'll, right. we'll show some more coats, and we'll show the coats from, from Mount Sugar Creek. But I just thought that since we were showing all them studs, I mean, watching a stud stand there in, is one thing. Yeah. Seeing what that stud can do, now that's, that's different. Right. That's, why, that's why I wanted the videos. So here well, we, we got go. It. We're going to go some more. We got some more. Let's go. Uh, right, right here's one that shocked everybody, but now I'm going to tell you. Now he's white now. Yes. You got to remember he's. Yeah. Well, Lyme with cash. They lost Lyme with cash. Now they got Jimmer for dead. David so. wanted him because he, you know, he has very few coats on the ground. And the ones David saw, he was immediately fell in love with. He said, this is the. So they had to fill that slot. Yep. This horse is in Lyme with cash's stall. Well, Lama Cash, four-year-old world world grand champion. What the, more you want? The grass wasn't even grown over his grave, and this horse was in the barn that quick. But he's white now. I mean, he's yeah. he's solid white. Oh, he's beautiful. Came from Locust Hill. His great grandmother was actually either full sister or the dam of uh, Delight of Pride. I'll tell you what, David. David's making some moves to get well, certain horses, just like he if, if wanting color. What yeah. does he do? Goes buys them. He we, bought John Wayne. Or here he is. Look how white he is. Look. All right, that's Jimmer at Sugar Creek on Saturday. Carol Baxter is the owner, Pioneer Stables trainer, Del Watts. Everything David will have, you, I don't think you'll see anything with a shoe on. Maybe uh, Bravo and Jen to win because they're still in the training cycle. Right. Rest of them, they're all barefoot. Because they turn out, they run better. They run them all the time. Put them on a walker or they get out there and run and they stay healthy. The reason why you had horses like Jen, like Jen and Lyle Cash die, they were old. I mean, they had been, they were getting old, old. Uh, Jose, Jose being with us is a, just a miracle. He's 26. So these horses get old, they do die, but look at him. 
He is He's the beautiful. man. Yeah. He is now. He's a pretty horse. Oh, David text me and he said, I'm, he said, I got to make sure you got your cap. I, I want to make the table. Right. Yeah. I want him right, to know. If you notice, and there's a back shot. But, all right. Let's see if they're there. All right. That's my brother Lee, my brother Big John. That everybody thinks it's just me and David. Oh, well, there's know. there's five of them. There's Bowie. He said, I had my hands full with you. <laughs> uh -oh, Lee. <laughs> Big John. Big John did. Big John. Listen, he saw he bought a filly on. Thursday. Sold it on Saturday. Uh, yeah, and real well, too. He's very smart. Very smart guy. He's an auctioneer. He's very intelligent. Stockbroker. That's him in the red yeah. jacket. He's a stockbroker. Now, here you go. Right, here's Revival. He, he, he was two year old, three year old, and four year old world. Champion and world grand champion across the board. Jerry, undefeated till he was uh, aged. Yeah, I think he got second in Columbia. Yeah, he was uh, won everything. Same honor, Bill and Debbie Woods. Look here, and Purdy. Look at here. You know what? Yeah. I think Baby Woods is a good picker too. Yeah, she is. <laughs> I tell you what, she's just sweet as she can be now. Oh yeah. my gosh, love her. But there's a story we got to ask her about uh, I Am Jose. It has something to do, well, Sonny, well, Christy, you know, told me, he said, my dad knows the story. I called Sonny. Sonny said it has something to do with about a dog, about a dog dying, so. Oh, here he is. I want you to look how pretty he is. Oh, yeah. All right, how about a nice round of balls for another great revival? This is Jose's revival. Danny Woods has a nice pair of horses up here. How about that? Jose's revival. Multi champion in the world. He is built so perfect. He, you know, I was, I was, great confirmation now. Right, that's, that's what I'm fact. saying. Jerry, when I was at MTSU, I studied under the best confirmation guy in the country, Dr. Dave Whitaker. And we studied confirmation on everything. Quarter horses, draft horses, walk, whatever. And so I got a good lesson on balance and depth and whatever. This is probably more so than his father or anybody else. This is probably the most correct Tennessee walking horse you'll ever see. Legs, the way his back, I mean, I don't know that you can draw one any better than he is. His confirmation is superb. Well, it's clinical. I mean, it's clinically perfect. All right, here's Mr. Woods and Debbie. These horses of hers have a tendency to recognize her voice. What y'all think is cute? Well, I tell you, these horses, they they know. They know. They know. You take, I got one sci-fi that I let this guy work with him for a month. Yeah. Went down there and he got out and he was out in the pasture. This guy was running him everywhere. I got out of the vehicle, walked around there and hollered. He looked up and he saw me and here he come. He said, if I'd known that, I'd called you two hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if you feed me peppermint candy, you're going to get my attention too. What we got? Right here is one. Now, th this is what I'm talking about. David's got a way. Memphis Blues. Yep, that if he needs something, especially color. Look, look at this at rascal walk behind it. it. All right, this Memphis is Blues. He's by Elvis Pusher. He's out of the. Uh, same dam as Folsom Prison Blues. This son of a gun can walk, I'm telling you, and can throw color. And I'll tell you this, in Pleasant Valley, my buddy Andy Riffey and Caitlin, they have, I guess, one of the first colts 
uh, by him. And, he, and, and so Andy showed me the picture Saturday, and he's absolutely beautiful. So the well, first one you'll see is at Pleasant Valley. Example. Look here. That David, he sees a need for something. He reaches out to get the answer. That's one thing I like about it. Oh, yeah. Sometimes some of the studs he'll recruit, he'll call me. We, we talk five times a day. Then sometimes I say, uh, you've lost your mind. I don't, where, where is the, the money here to, on, the, on this horse or that horse or whatever? And at the end of the day, He's always right. I mean, he doesn't miss. Well, he, he's two different things. He's looking at people out here that are looking for certain things. Yeah. And he's looking for the answer to answer when they call him. Right. And but he, he does. He, he's got, uh, and Bowie does too. Bowie, his son, all right, there's Walton, David Walton Williams Jr. Bevin's the oldest one. She's an attorney. And then Boo. Boo's young one. Boo uh, is into thoroughbreds, and he has not lost a dollar yet. I mean, he has made big money. I mean, he's a young guy. I mean, it's not like he's my age. But he applies everything his dad taught him about walking on thoroughbreds. And man, he's killing it in thoroughbreds. Look at it. Memphis Blues, David loves this horse. I mean, he loves him. Well, he's laid back. He ain't real laid back, and but David knows where where he's headed. He knows his future. I mean, he knows that he's just not another horse. I tell you what, now he's got some good owners too. Oh, that horse Rebel, yeah, yes, Jim. love him. Kim Knight drinking a little coffee right there. That's two of my grandkids' mama, right there drinking <laughs> coffee. That's Kim Nine, that's Wesley's wife. She had a babysitter that day and she was so thrilled. Look here. He throws that color because when he came through, Andy, Andy Rippey tapped me on the back. He said, let me show you this. And Caitlin brought her phone up and that colt that's out there at Pleasant Valley is Beautiful. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. There he is. Oh, here's our owners. Oh, yeah. I tell you what, now I'm going to tell you that young lady right there. She can ride a horse. As long as she can ride the hair off one. She can ride one. Yeah. Now, right here, I'm going to make a statement. Go ahead. Arms deal for real. I've, I've read my marriage to him several times and, and got some great concerns by him. Yeah. If you look at his show record, the, yeah. the horses that have made it to the show ring in flat shot performance across the board. I got, he, he's up there in the numbers. Let me tell you the key right here. Russ Thompson will tell you, you know what the key is? Ebony. Ebony Masterpiece. <laughs> That's it. His daddy was out of Ebony Mary, and he was out of Ebony Mary. And I have to tell you, Bob Pollock, who I love like life, he's he's the reason why we stream horse shows. He put up the money. He, you know, he's a big investor in uh, Arizona, California. Patty and cheers, yeah. Dad. Bob Pollock, I don't know if he ever sold anything, but uh, I, uh, Frank Ockler said, I'll give a million dollars for that horse. And uh, Bob Pollock said, okay, you, you might. Never knew Bob Pollock would sell one. But this horse brought a one million dollars when he was. Well, I'll tell you what now. He, but then he hurt his shoulder. He had a yeah. shoulder injury. That's what stopped him. But I, I will say this. If you look at, at, look at the ones that are out there now, minor ordeals yeah. just up by Felicia. Right. And, but there's others. There's one. You're the called Sir. Big old Sir. Look at him. Oh, yeah. But these are bred to 
not the not the top of the mayors right. in the industry, but all, like my mayor's a good mayor, and yeah. she's produced some good ones, but she ain't one of the top mayors. Well, right, but look at him. I mean, so you got Ebony, or so you got uh, Ebony's uh, Milana, which is Armed and Dangerous's mama, by Generator. He's by Armed and Dangerous and out of an Ebony Mayor. So he's got a double dose of Ebony Mayor. Uh, Sister Milligan loves him. Well, she's got, what, she's got a world champion buying. They're smart. Now, she loves every, him. Every one of those deals, I guarantee you, oh, yeah. all of them got a good back end, but all of them are smart. There's Debbie right there. Yeah. She loves this horse. Oh, she works. The only with thing them. about that that was very unfortunate was that he hurt his shoulder or something. It was his shoulder. Shoulder. And she loved this animal and what I, and, and he loves her. And I, you know, it was very unfortunate that she didn't get to show him. That, that's the only thing I didn't like. Uh oh, here we go. Here's the man. Hey, check this out. Now, here, here's the stats. Yeah. Jose, Jose. 834 world and reserve world mm -hmm. title. Grand, world grand champion across, I mean, you name it. You know where he was born, right? Alabama, wasn't he? No, he was born in Oklahoma. Oklahoma. He was born at Pat Rigwall's farm in Oklahoma and uh, brought him to uh, David Lander. And they started him at David Land. I'm not, I'm not sure who started him. But he's out of Stormy's Ruby and he's by um, his daddy is was 14-3. He was below he was a pony pony. A little bitty horse named uh, uh, Jen's Major General that stood over there at uh, uh, Hollinsdale. Look at here. Look how big he is, but his dad was 14, whatever, he barely 15 hands. And his mom was a Stormy Nightmare, her name was Stormy's Ruby. And uh, he was raised in um, Oklahoma. Born in Oklahoma. Now, we're here, I know you got the footage coming, but we gotta tell, you gotta understand this. 22 or 23 years, he was never in front of the public. Never. Well, because of transportation. Because, A, uh, they have to go through inspection if they're transferred on a truck. So, even when Waterfall had an event, Rising Star had an event, or whatever, he may have had to be transferred or whatever on a truck. Nobody ever, they didn't load him. So this is the first time in 22 years that he was ever in front of a bunch of people. So he doesn't know anything about, this is totally new to him. Well, he's paying attention right now. Yeah, he looked, ears. what was shocking, all right, there's Russ Thompson right there. He got to get him a picture. Their sister getting a picture. So they, I didn't know they were going to do it. David said, we're going to bring him up here. And I said, really? He said, because I'd already announced, I said, hey, if you want to see Jose, Jose, go down to that. There's no signage. You have to go down there and see him. So they brought, David said, we're going to bring him up here. I said, really? In front of this crowd? He said, what is he going to do? He said, he's going to walk around, and then he's going to walk out. They walked him around. You were there. You saw it. So they, this crowd's huge. Everybody's getting a picture of it. All right. What day? He is a living legend. Oh, he's a living legend, no doubt about it. He is. The one lady told me, she said, it makes me feel like the time I saw Ebony Masterpiece when I was a little girl. He said, this, this, I get the same feeling. So this is him. Not only did he... They brought him up this time. They had to bring him up twice because the crowd kind of changed. He does have a little gray in his head. And all right, that's about it. I mean, he doesn't look much different. 
I talked to Bob Kilgore on the phone this morning. Bob Kilgore would give a million and five hundred thousand dollars for him. When he bought it, that's what he gave. And Bob and I had a good conversation about him this morning. Bob wasn't there uh, Saturday. But Bob uh, was surprised too. So they, they bring him out and everybody looked at him. I said, yeah, they, the crowd was there. Bob gave a million and a half for him. Uh, and then Frank Eichler bought him. And then Bill Johnson bought him. Frank Eichler bought him. I don't think Frank Eichler ever owned those, right? Yeah, he owned him and Santana, too. At one time, yeah, they sold him to Rising Star. Yeah, he did. And then David bought him. He went back to the waterfall bought him. And then David bought him and, you know, you look in the restaurant, he bought him, Lima Cash. Well, I can tell you right now, Debbie has got a three-year-old by him that is a bad Yeah. Dude. He is a bad cat. That the guy in the white hat, that's Greg Bowie. That's uh, David's wife's brother. I can't, he's at a horse event. He's not a horse guy, but he's having a, there's a lot of people that were there that weren't horse people. They were family people and whatever. People had come to see the Oh horses. man, they were having a big time. The food was great. Rowdy Ranch, oh my gosh. I was getting text messages from everybody on the How can we Look watch at Russ. it? How can we watch it? And I, I was telling them how to get on and watch yeah. it. His fee's five grand now. That's Wayne Hart right there. Yeah. Oh yeah, Wayne was there. Wayne was there and then Russ was right there. There's Dr. Uh, Dr. Kurt Branch from Franklin, the dentist over in Franklin. He was up there, he and his wife. All right. Now I'm trying well, to see, I'm far, trying to get, yeah. far away? Well, no, no, that no, far away. I'm you just looking. blind. I I'm, lost my ink pen, you, listen, you doing all this stuff. I'm 56, Jerry, I'm sorry. Well, bless your heart. <laughs> I'm getting old. I'm getting, uh, Virginia Stewart asked me about you today, or yesterday, in the parking lot of Walmart. She said, tell you how. No, she, hey, I love, I love her and Gene both. <laughs> they, they're super good people. Yeah. We'll be right back. We got to take a commercial break. Let's we'll do be, it. We'll be right back. Let's do it. You made the time and the sacrifice to broaden their horizons, to see their smiles, but mostly to make lifelong memories. We think it's time to do it again. Just the two of you. Don't let illness or injury slow you down. The rehab team at Life Care Center of Tullahoma is ready to help you live well. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi-night shows, sibling and progeny searches, Ryder Cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. Let's get back to Jerry and his guests on Water Horse. All you right. Know, you know what I got? What? Me and Jerry Williams kid about us being kin. Yeah. Okay. Yesterday, I've got a picture of my granddaddy, John Alana Williams, Sr. And I'm gonna put it side by side with Roosevelt Williams, and you tell me if we're kin. They look exactly alike. I believe it, cause you well, remind me of Jerry. No, the, right. Me and Jerry kid about it. Of course, we've gone through Ancestry.com and whatever. But that same set of Williamses came from Texas, Louisiana. A little bit of Alabama in the Tennessee, same bunch. But if you look at my daddy's daddy and Roosevelt Williams, one's brown, one's white. I'm telling you, they look. So I'm, I'm going to bring a picture. 
Uh, I looked at it last night. I'm going to bring, bring a picture and we'll put it out You'll there. Be, we'll, we'll let everybody vote. So everybody says, oh, these Williams is kin, and yeah. I don't think that. But you're not kin to Chase, right? No, we are kin, oh, but we we're are. not kin on the Williams side. We're kin on the Bone side. On the Bone side. No, there's a Bone family, and we are kin to Chase, but it's not Williams. It's not the Williams it, it, side. It's over we, here. That Williams is California. Oh, yeah, it's over here. They're over here. They're over here. But we are uh, kin. So. We got more video. Let's go back and watch some more. I think I'm kin the Harris's too. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Jimmy I'll uh, tell you what. This one right here. Now, right here is. Makes a good ride Bill and Karen I really thought. He throws that car. But, but now, th this horse got hurt too, I believe, because he, he didn't show anymore. But I don't he know. Was, he was your two year old. Uh, uh, world champion and world grand champion in 2016. He was, I mean, a piece of work. When they, I was sitting there at uh, Sugar Creek with CJ filming, and Jimmy sat next to me the whole time. And when he came through, and he talked about him and Jimmy and uh, the other one. Uh, Jackie Chan. Yeah. Very proud of them. Very proud of what they're doing. I'm not sure if he got hurt or what. I think he, they was bred in pretty good. See, Karen Bean lives next door. Yeah. He's right next door. I think he was more, you know, she already had Shockwave. Yeah. So, you know, what was the point? When you got a horse like this, you can throw that color. All right, here, you there's Andy Rippy and Dr. David Daniels. Here's Jimmy Chu when he come in. Jimmy McConnell is sitting right next to me, by to the left. Yeah, he's right there. Yeah, he's there with me. He took my chair. Yeah, he did. I meant to say something to him, back, but I said <laughs> since he was. With, since he was a great horse trainer, I was afraid if I took his chair, he'd, he'd knock you out of the way and take yours. No, he might hit you back. I mean, <laughs> that's the thing. Jimmy's a little aggressive. There's Joe Fleming. Joe Fleming's sitting there watching. Jimmy Chu is just a great horse and beautiful. And he throws his, that color. He throws that color. I mean, he throws that blue roan. Blue roan, black points. Blue roan, black points is a black head, black mane tail, black legs. You know, there's other roans. There's Henry, look, that's David's grandkid, Henry. Look here. Yeah, see, he, I, your, your niece, yeah. as soon as he saw David, he had to get out there. I heard her say, he saw you. Look at him, he's pointing, yeah. Oh yeah. All right, here's Star Reds. Bread like you can't take a pencil and write a better pedigree than what you're looking at right here. I mean, I'm I'm telling you, absolute best. Well, he was the four-year-old world champion, world grand champion. Mm-hmm. This is the very first world grand championship title for Star of the Rents. They've had wins this year at the Spring Fun Show. The Money Tree Classic, the Red Carpet Show of the South. Herb Marath. Right. I think owns it. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, Herb. Herb. Sure does. He owns Corn's Arcash. I mean, he's owned some of the best. Watch this. What you got to do. I'm lucky. I watch a lot of videos. Plus, I've installed a 75 inch TV in my living room. So I can see a lot of this stuff. He hits his heels behind perfectly. That's what, when, if you're looking for a horse on, with their back end. Oh yeah. If they can hit their heels behind like he does, that's what, he's a beautiful horse. I like watching back ends when they reach out there and that toe is turned up and it's hit. And they hit on the heel. Yeah. Right. Love it. He does it. David loves this horse. Let me tell you what. If, you know, so many years people bred the horses because their buddy owned them or maybe their sister owned one or my friend owns this one, I'll yeah. breed to this. Uh -uh. There's nothing at that farm just because David likes the guy. They're there, but David's had horses there with people that he didn't like. Hey, they're, they're, I mean, they're there to fill the a yeah. need. 
Yeah. And that that is the main reason they're there. All right, this command, this is uh, Mark Ann Beach. Yeah. This is Ray's wife. Yep. I mean, Our no, Ray's, wife. Ray's daughter. Yep. This is where, this is Margaret Ann Elias from Oxford. All right. This is uh, uh, Commander in Chief. Yeah. Great horse, bred the best, beautiful. But that's uh, Margaret Ann. That's uh, Ray's daughter, Belfast. Can ride, and her daughter shows. Her daughter won it. Uh, down at uh, Humboldt at the Strawberry Festival this past year. So her daughter, she has a daughter showing. There's my that's, buddy. Yeah, that's Jeff Green. That's oh, in Columbia. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right that's there's a good horse trainer. Buddy. Great horse trainer. His whole family, all those oh. guys. Oh, right, here he is. Come on, Chief. Yeah. He has bred the best. And the best thing about him is you don't have to break the bank to breed the him. No. I mean, you, you're not, Jerry, you're not going to pay a fortune to breed to him, and you're going to get a, a good ton. Horse. Oh, my God. Yeah, absolutely. Pretty as a picture. Margaret Ann Elias did a great job of showing him. His mouth is like butter. You don't have to pull on him, nothing. He just, he's a great, you know, the beaches have, have not stood many since their daddy died. Old mm. oh, Mr. Beach. Mr. S. W. Beach. When he died, I mean, the breeding operation, you know, after a generator or whatever, they didn't breed any horses. This is probably the first one. Ray's family owns him. He was raised in Belfast. And he is a part of that uh, Count Silver line, bloodline on the bottom side. I'm thinking he's I'm thinking he's out of RPM there. But I'm not sure. But Count Silver Line is Grand Dam, uh, whatever, and that's uh, JFK's mother. And, and Jackie O. We're going to have to look at it up. Are you okay? No, you look it up right no, we're now. We're going to have to look it up, Chick. Promise you. I'll bet you a lottery ticket. I'm You're not. probably right. <laughs> I want to remind everybody that during Lane Leverett's coat preview right. on the 19th, that the Alabama group is coming up and they're going to have their auction. Yeah. I mean, that, to, it, well, it, it's that's can, important. It's Cam yeah. Smile Yeah. Well, yeah. let me tell you about charities. Yesterday I was called by a guy that said we're doing something for Toys for Tots, a horse show in Shovel, and it's for the Marine Corps. I said, I'll announce it for nothing. Uh, I'll go down, you know, I'll do this uh, well, auction all, uh, for nothing. They've already got you out there. They've got you out there. Right. For Lane, no, Lane I, Leverett I, called and he said that he wants you to announce it. We're going to stream it. Won't charge a dollar. But we want to, we want to, we but, want them to make money because well, this camp's mile and miles you're, important. Now, if that you is. go and bid on them banana puddings, you might as well get your wallet gonna, out. Buddy. They're going to be two hundred. <laughs> they're going to be. They, they're going to go high, but but I don't eat banana pudding. But I might buy something else. Can't ever tell. Uh, Brandon Tate eats banana pudding. I mean, he yeah. brought I think five hundred dollars. <laughs> Are the pudding last year? But they have Boston butts too. They'll cook and they'll, uh, they'll have everything. Yeah. Well, folks, that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed. Now, next week, we're going to have some coats that Good. we're going to show. So we'll see you next week. We get Tommy back over here. We might put him to do I might have a better shirt on. All right. So. That's it. We'll get him a better shirt. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left. Hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse. I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. Thank you.
I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.